Yo, greetings, brothers and sisters. Today we're going to talk about the concept and dealing with emotions. Now, emotions are a mental state that arises spontaneously rather than through the conscious. So, what that means is basically, give or take uh, a little bit, it's basically dealing with feelings. And a lot of people in society that you come in contact with, your family, even here on YouTube, everybody's feeling some type of emotions. Maybe uh, some of the emotions are warranted and some of the emotions are unwarranted, but everybody's entitled to them. But the thing is that since we all know that everybody has and deals with emotions, it's all about a matter if you are able to control your emotions or not. And to be honest, a lot of people out here can't control their emotions. And I was uh, like that before I, you know, calmed down and had someone older talk to me, especially my parents. And But we all know that growing up, we really didn't listen to them. Well, at least I didn't. But we have to learn how to keep these emotions in check because we are an emotional people. And that's why we're kind of, you know, slagging behind, so to speak, is because we're dealing too much with emotions and we're really not off logic. And this way, emotions, it doesn't discriminate. It crosses all ethnic backgrounds, all genders, all age groups. It does not discriminate at all. We all deal with emotions, but the key is let's make some of us better than others is how do we deal with those particular type of emotions. How do I deal with my emotions? Well, basically, what I do is if I'm getting into a heated confrontation with someone, I usually try to, you know, go over it in my head twice before I say it because, you know, usually if you're following your first mind, you might try to come, you might come out a little condescending and patronizing or a little abrasive towards the other person. So I try to calm down and deliver it in a civil manner. I always try to keep it civilized at all times. A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people uh, go into you know, their own personal ego and then they get so and wrapped into their own personality when they start referring to themselves in a third party, which I never got, but who am I? I'm not the more authority, so who am I to, to judge or to say what someone can and cannot do? Another thing, you know, it's a fine line between having emotions and being conceited, you know? Uh, to be so self-absorbed where you and, and dealing with your particular emotions with a particular issue or a person where you just can't hear or bear truth or light to come to you. I mean, and let's get to the point where that starts to turn detrimental. And that's uh, very counterproductive. So, my advice to every, everyone who would be willing to listen to me uh, is, you know, I'll, I'll leave you a quote by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. He said, the truth is to be honored no matter who's speaking it. And when I read that uh, quote, you know, it changed my whole perspective on listening to everybody. I mean, that, that's the, uh, the man that uh, who I revere the most and who I study the most to try to uh, gain as much knowledge from uh, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad as well as other uh, influential leaders that we have past and present. But that's the man who I put, in my personal opinion, number one up there. So, me taking that position of humility, well, I can listen to uh, friends and foes alike and take whatever nuggets of truth that they have out of, even if they're spitting falsehood to me, if I could just sit here and listen to it, you never know what no one, what someone has to offer you unless you take the time to listen. So, emotions, people, we have to uh, be able to keep them in check. 
because I mean we're really you're really uh, slagging behind if you you know always thinking emotionally emotionally and they don't allow logic to seek in at some point or time and uh, we, we have to get better at that I mean everybody can't change overnight and I know that it's gonna it take a lot of adjusting and it'll be very difficult for a lot of people but I mean just just to take my advice on the situation just always think about something at least at least two or three times before you say it and the human and I know you say that's a lot of time no it's not I mean a couple of split seconds uh, for you to run over into your brain it's not a long time I mean the human thought is the it moves over uh, a billion miles a second if I'm not mistaken so I mean you, you uh, transmit all that information where you can know how to you know lay it across and maybe if you change your approach a little bit you might uh, be able to convey your point a little better maybe people will be more receptive to the message that you're trying to spread and um, I'm not making this particular video out to anybody in particular but I have been uh, catching up on a lot of videos and watching as of late and I am seeing a lot of people dealing with their particular set of emotions some emotions are good you don't want to be emotionless uh, be a robot I mean that's that's what makes us uh, human and normal there are emotions but if you're trying to con conduct business if you're trying to convey a message if you're trying to teach someone or if you're trying to learn and I'm sure that anyone can think of other types of emotions out you know other situations rather but I should say that emotions can get in the way of you receiving or giving that message so I just want to uh, leave that out put this out there and I know it's been real I know I'm just a little biased and peace be upon you.